these are the first two cervical uh, vertebra. Uh, the first one being uh, atlas and the second one being uh, axis. Uh, so let's talk about parts of the atlas. Uh, this is anterior arch, anterior tubercle, posterior arch, posterior tubercle, These are superior articular facets for articulation with the occipital condyle at the atlanto occipital joint. These are transverse processes of the atlas, but the spinous process in the atlas is absent. The body is also absent from the atlas bone. So that's how we can differentiate between the atlas bone and the other cervical vertebra. These are transverse foramina in the uh, transverse processes for passage of the vertebral arteries. But transverse foramina of the seventh cervical vertebra provides passage only for the vertebral veins, not arteries. These are the inferior articular facets of the atlas, of course, for articulation with the superior articular facets of the lower bone, which is the axis bone or the second cervical vertebra. The vertebral arteries which pass through the vertebral foramina are branches from the subclavian artery. The subclavian artery on the right side is a branch from the brachiocephalic artery, but on the left side, the subclavian artery and branches off right from the arch of aorta. Uh, this is the axis or the second cervical vertebra. This is its uh, spinous process. Uh, these are the right and left lamina of the spinous process. Uh, these are uh, superior articular facets and of course uh, inferior articular facets. Uh, this is uh, dense of the axis or it's also called odontite process of the axis. Uh, so, um, in the axis, the body will form this projection. Um, this is the transverse foramen in the transverse process of the axis. But this is not a foramen at all. And of course, this is the spinal canal or spinal foramen for passage of the spinal cord. This is a typical uh, cervical vertebra. The first, second and seventh cervical vertebra are atypical. But this is uh, the fourth uh, cervical uh, vertebra which is um, regarded as a typical cervical vertebra. Uh, this is its anterior aspect and this is its posterior aspect. Uh, this is body uh, of the vertebra, uh, this is uh, spinal canal or spinal foramen, uh, this is not a foramen by the way, uh, this is the spinous process and uh, these are lamina of the spinous process, uh, these are the superior articular facets, superior articular facets and inferior articular facets. This is the transverse process, transverse process. This is the anterior tubercle and posterior tubercle of the transverse process of the typical cervical vertebra. In between them is the intertubercular lamina. And this is the transverse foramen for passage of the vertebral arteries. And this is not a foramen again. This is pedicle of the cervical vertebra. This is lamina of the spinous process and intertubercular lamina.